Hello, Dr. Greg here with a, uh, another video about sitting. Now, I made some incredible claims, or actually they have made incredible claims about how sitting is responsible for decreasing our lifespan. Um, and that intense exercise and stuff like that cannot counteract the sitting. So but I wanna explain why that is the case. So with the help of my picture over here, I'm gonna mark a place in the brainstem that's called the pontomedullary reticular formation. And that is pontomedullary reticular formation, right there. So this here, everything above the spine of the neck, which is in the skull, is considered the, the uh, brainstem. The brainstem runs everything in our body. It runs our heart rate, runs our digestion, everything. It's pretty key in helping and keeping our bodies working the way they should, the way it should. Now, when you sit, there's a lot of things going on with sitting. Um, but one of the things that happens when you sit for 20 minutes, it's just 20 minutes, this part of the brain called the pontomedullary reticular formation turns off. Now, the brain turns off certain parts that are not being used to conserve energy because the brain is the most energy-using element in our bodies. It uses more energy than anything. And the reason is because it controls everything. It controls heart rate, like I said before. Now, here is the part of the brain that helps control all those processes, these automatic processes in your body. Now. There is a war going on in our brainstem. On one side is the pontomedullary reticular formation, and the other side is something called the red nucleus. This is very interesting. Placement is very important in how this all works. The red nucleus is all about the opposite of what the pontomedullary reticular formation does. So the pontomedullary reticular formation slows the heart rate, the red nucleus increases the heart rate. The same thing with our posture, right? The pontomedullary reticular formation keeps us upright. The red nucleus has us go forward. Now, what happens when you're sitting? You're sitting is you're actually causing yourself to go forward, right? You're not in what we call extension, which is like this. You're in flexion, which is like this, which actually strengthens the red nucleus right here, okay? That then inhibits the pontomedullary reticular formation. Now, when you are sitting, this turns off, but this turns on because you're flexing, got it? So if that's turned off, you're not getting control of your autonomic processes, your heart rate and all that kind of stuff, blood pressure. This will increase blood pressure, increase heart rate, re ruin digestion, okay? Ruin bowel movements, ruin peeing, all that good stuff. This does all that good stuff. This doesn't do the good stuff. What you're doing when you're sitting, you're actually strengthening this and inhibiting that. And in neurology, that's a bad combination. So what you're doing is you're enhancing the blood pressure, the heart rate, all that, you're making that work more and suppressing all the calming part. Now, here's an interesting thing. Why is it, why are they placed that way? Well, right up here, okay, is part of what's called the limbic system. The limbic system is all about stress and all that kind of stuff. And when you're in a situation where you are being chased by someone, by a lion, by whatever, this gets excited, which increases the red nucleus, which gets you going, right? Gets the heart rate up so you get more blood into your limbs. This calms you down. It's near, close to that so it can happen rapidly, so you can respond to situations rapidly. Now, what happens if you're on the computer, right, and you're under a stressful situation, which a lot of people are, Stress occurs here, it even gets the red nucleus fired up more 
while this is being suppressed. We have to find a solution for this because it's killing people. Literally, sitting is killing people. I want you to think about that. Tomorrow, I'm going to come up with some solutions. I gave you, gave you one yesterday, and we're going to have some more coming. So just ruminate on that for a little bit and how important that part of our brain is, and we never think about it. So this is Dr. Greg, changing the way we look at health.